Hi everyone, it's Daniel. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be speaking about original sin. Muslims don't believe in original sin like we do. They don't think sin can be carried over. Regular sins are not carried over. But what about original sin? It's called original sin because it's carried over from the time of Adam. This specific sin has integrated into our DNA. It has become like our DNA. When Adam and Eve decided not to obey God, they sinned. That was the first sin. That's the original sin. The moment the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil eaten, that's the moment they sinned. Because they, they didn't obey God, Adam and Eve ate the fruit and got kicked out from paradise, from the garden. Not only they got the punishment, but us too get the punishment. We got punished even we did not eat the fruit. In Quran, Allah forgave Adam, but still punished him after. Let us read Surah Taha. This chapter 20, verse 122 to 123. Then his Lord chose him and turned to him in forgiveness and guided him. Allah said, Descend from paradise, all of you, being enemies to one another. And if there should come to you guidance from me, then whoever follows my guidance, will neither go astray nor suffer. As you can see, Allah punished Adam even after he forgave him. Be why? Because justice has to be served. Without punishment, there is no justice. And there's a little more detailed story in different chapter in Quran. Surah Al-Araf, it's chapter 7, verse 19 to 26. O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden, and enjoy as you wish, but approach not this tree, or ye run into harm and transgression. Then began Satan to whisper suggestions to them, bringing openly before their minds all their shame that was hidden from them, he said, Your Lord only forbade you this tree, lest you should become angels or such beings as live forever. And he swore to them both that he was their sincere advisor. So by deceit, he brought about their fall. When they tasted of the tree, their shame became manifest to them and they began, began to sow together the leaves of the garden over their bodies. And the Lord called unto them, Did I not forbid you that tree and tell you that Satan was a vowed enemy unto you? They say, O Lord, our Lord, we have wronged our own souls. If thou forgive us not and bestow not upon us thy mercy, we certainly be lost. Allah said, Get you down with en enmity between yourselves. On earth will be your dwelling place and your means of livelihood for a time. He said, Therein shall you live, there shall you die, but from it shall you be taken out O ye children of Adam, we have bestowed raiment upon you to cover your shame, as well as to be adornment to you. But a raiment of righteousness, that is the best. Such are among the signs of Allah, that they may receive admonition. Let us compare that story 
to our Bible. The complete story is in Genesis 3, verse 1 to 24. I'm not going to read it. It's a little long, too long. How Eve was tricked by the, by the serpent. How then Adam and Eve got kicked out from the garden. It's all there. Also how the descendants of Eve and serpent hate each other. And again, you can see the Quran is a copy from Bible. So from both Bible and Quran, we must agree that even though we did not eat the fruit, we are punished. By being born outside the garden, it means we are too being punished. We can read, read it as well from Hadith. Shahi al-Bukhari, Hadith number 60, 6614. Narrated Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, O oh Adam, you are our father who disappoint us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah favored you with his talk. And he wrote the Torah for you with his own hand. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation? So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. The prophet added, repeating the statement three times. So Moses blamed Adam because of him, we are too being punished by God. Otherwise, we would be in paradise having great life. And another hadith supporting the original sin is Shahi al-Bukhari, hadith number um, volume 4, hadith number 506, narrated Abu Hurairah. The prophet said, when any human being is born, Satan touches him at both sides of the body with his two fingers, except Jesus, the son of Mary, whom Satan tried to touch but failed. For he touched the placenta or cover instead. This hadith represents many points. Not only Jesus was sinless, but also all humans born with sin have sin. And this is not a regular sin because this is not something they do because it's from Satan. Satan touched them. Except Jesus, the only one he didn't touch. Muslims need to read their own books before they say anything. To recap, Quran shows that Allah still punished Adam and Hawa, or Adam and Eve, even after Allah forgave them. And then all human born is touched by Satan, except Jesus. That is why M Moses blamed Adam for the sin he did not he, he did not make because of adam moses was born outside and had to live outside the paradise outside of paradise and he blamed adam for it original sin is not only biblical but also supported by their own books both quran and hadith but muslims Choose not to believe their books again, as usual. To all of you, whoever you are, wherever you are, God bless.